They are vanishing! The stars are going dead, one by one! Half a billion systems have already been consumed! The hungry void is four million light years away, but every second it rushes closer to us. Even this green planet will be swallowed by darkness! It's rushing ever closer and closer! <laughs> Princess Luna of Transylvania will go to the United States on a goodwill mission. Oh 
no. We will fall. Oh. This plane is going to crash. Oh. Oh, Princess, Princess Luna, please, you must come down now. Oh. 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 Am I dead? No, you're not. You are projected here in astral form. Huh? Here? Where? You are nearly four million light years from your planet. Who are you? I am Floyd. Where? I can't see you. There is nothing to see. I don't have any particular form or any specific location. We are exchanging thoughts through a direct mental link. Telepathy? Do not be alarmed. Relax and open your consciousness to me. It's warm. An energy of incredible serenity is flowing into me. Princess Luna, your psionics will only awaken through trust. You will attain this power through love. <gasps> then you... you must be... I am not a god. I am the life energy of the universe. Floyd, why did you bring me here? I have something to show you. I will give you a vision. <gasps> the stars are disappearing. Countless star systems have perished in the last billion years. Entire galaxies have ceased to exist. How? It is a life form of pure energy. An insane entity who destroys for the sake of destruction. It is called Genma. Genma? Existed. 
Vega was the finest cyborg warrior in this galactic cluster. He had been fighting for 200 years. But then his one love, Arietta, was killed by Genma. Vega was defeated by his own despair. happened 2,000 years ago. And now Genma's darkness is reaching towards your galaxy. Vega has slept for 2,000 years inside his death capsule. Genma banished him to the far reaches of the universe. Why? For what reason? Genma intends to destroy all of existence, including one Earth woman who can feel his presence. Your royal duties have ended. You must now become a psionic warrior. I'm just an average girl. Who am I fighting for? What am I fighting for? For your own sake, for survival. Warrior Luna, Earth has the power of hope. The human emotions of love and friendship are infinitely powerful. Earthlings constantly struggle for virtue. You must strive to focus these positive energies within you. Earth has the potential to match the negative energy of Genma. from your long sleep. 
Leave me alone. My friends, my people are gone. I just want to keep sleeping. Think back, Vega. Remember Arietta, the telepath who loved you? Your love for Arietta has sustained you for 2,000 years. Become a warrior again. It's my hope and Floyd's will. Floyd. You know about Floyd? Who are you? I am Luna, one of Earth's psionic warriors. At last, this is the moment I've been waiting for. No sweat, you're gonna make it! So, hey, genius. Welcome to the team. Oh, thanks. Oh? Joe! D oh. Looks like Joe didn't make the team. That's surprising. Well, I think I'll quit the team. But you made it to the starting lineup. I don't get along with them. Anyway, I need to study more. So, maybe you could take my place in left field. I don't think so. Shido friend. Huh? What? Sorry, I'm not just quitting out of pity, Joe. Look. Junko. Transatlantic Flight 336. The search has ended, but the investigation continues. After learning of the tragic death of their princess, Transylvania is in deep mourning. Sources claim that the cause of the accident... Joe, are you home? What's wrong? Your call was so sudden.
What's wrong with you? Are you avoiding me? Oh, that. Why? It's nothing. Oh, there you go again. So where are you taking me tonight? It's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Are you listening? What can I say? Huh? What do you mean? Well, Joe, whenever I say something, you always twist it around. I hate that so much. <sighs> it hasn't always been this way. Joe, I think it's best if we don't see each other for a little while. Hmm. Bye. I do like Joe. But I can't compete with his sister. Check it out! Yeah, man, I'm with ya. You're in high school, right? No one under 18 is admitted. Going, punk. Ah. Oh, <laughs> huh? They've all turned to stone. 
They're like statues! I don't believe this is happening. That monster! What? I know just what it is. Just a dream, just a bad dream. Darn. Incredible. He showed amazing power for his first time. 
It's just as I predicted. It's more. But if we don't place the barriers quickly... Uh, Vega, I think we are taking too many risks. We have no choice. Sun psionics must be scared to death before they trigger. The danger has only started. His powers are awake now. But he doesn't understand them yet. Ah. The same old face. The same old town. Same old crowd. Huh. Nothing's changed. At all. in a dream. Things aren't the same after all. It feels like a new part of me has just awakened. Psychokinesis, to move things through the power of the mind. And I have this power! You look happy today. <laughs> <laughs> Happier than I've ever been. That's good. I was worried about you. What's that stupid looking grin? What happened? My old dear friend Shiro, do you believe in ESP? <laughs> well, it's very hard to believe in something so vague. 
But I know that it is real. Well, I would definitely have to see it with my own eyes in order for me to believe it. With your own eyes, you say? No, no, no! Let me down, Joe! Let me down, Joe! Ah! No, no, Joe! Let me down! No, no, no! Let me down, Joe! No, no, no! Let me down, Joe! Joe! Let me down, Joe! No, 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 Joe! Joe, let me down! Oh! Did you just do that, Joe? You know, my old pal, psychic powers are very real. Whether you believe it or not, it's real. And I'll just bet you've gotten these psychic powers, right? You believe me now, don't you? Are you going to use your power to just manipulate people? Shiro! Don't start thinking that you are superior in any way at all. You arrogant fool, I have never believed in psychic powers before and I will never believe in them. Calm down, Shiro! I'm so disappointed in you, Joe. I hope I will never have to see you again. They're gone. Junko. Shiro. Probably everyone else, too. It has that effect on everyone. The power is exciting, but it also brings isolation. And soon the curiosity will be too much for him. He'll want to know just how strong he is. We need to know that too. Of course. We need a suitable time. No, he needs time to think, to adjust. Then what should we do? I'll send him a vision telepathically. Joe, are you still awake? Can I come in? Do you have a fever? Ah! <gasps> What's wrong? Ah! Ah! Stay back! Joe! It's me, your sister! <laughs> Joe! Ah! Ah! Wait. Mach 1.2. He's flying as fast as a jet. Incredible. He's broken the sound barrier. How long are they going to try to follow me? I'll try telepathy again. It's too dangerous. He can't control his powers yet. I know, but he has to know what's really going on. What will you show him this time? Just as Floy relayed it to me. The whole truth. Joe! Azuma! Joe! You're a psionic warrior. You must fight the evil of Genma. Warrior? I'm a warrior? And what's a Genma? Extermination! Extermination! 
destruction, the final destruction of Earth. Destruction, destruction. No! Oh, you devil! Joe! Joe, don't get trapped inside the vision! Joe! Just as I feared. It was too great a shock. He tried to fight the vision. And then he believed he had lost. The trauma had formed a mental barrier. He's retreated to the inner depths of his mind. He's useless like this. What should we do? Vega, I'm going to have to go down deep into his inner mind and do my best to try to pull him out. You can't. You'll be vulnerable to his darkest fears. It's too dangerous. Even Esper doctors won't risk this. You're right. But Vega, understand that I cannot afford to lose Joe. What's wrong, Joe? Don't cry. There's nothing to be afraid of. Don't cry. I'm always here to protect you. I've been with you ever since you were a baby. I'll always be with you, Joe, darling. I'll never leave you. You must believe everything I say, darling. I love you very much. This is your last refuge. Excuse me, who are you? I've come to see Joe. Would you please leave us now? Go away, now. Joe, don't you see? You're just running away. But what are you running from? From yourself. Do you think you can get away? Please, leave us alone. Joe, listen. You have to come out of there. That's not really your sister, Joe. It's just an illusion you have created to hide behind. You have to trust what I say. None of this right now is real. They're all just your own mental images. Warrior Luna. Are you friend or enemy? That all depends on you, Joe. Excellent. 
Suna. My name is... Vega. Yes, I know. She had told me telepathically. But I'm still a little confused. There was so much information that was given to me. You must decide where your duty lies. If you exert your full strength, it will exhaust you. If you use it too often, it could cripple or kill you. If you're not trained, you risk more than yourself. Others might also be hurt. That's the nature of power. You have now awakened to your own power. When you can control it, you will be a warrior. When that time comes, we'll meet again. Joe, before Luna went into your mind, she said we couldn't afford to lose you. Everyone has something precious to protect. Once you know what that is, you will be a warrior. He's been asleep for three days and nights. Where did he go so suddenly? I didn't even see him return. How did he get into his room? I don't know. Something's happened. Something I don't understand. Huh?
Oh, Joe. I'm glad you came. Junko, dear, I really wanted to see you again. Oh, me too. I really want to apologize for what I said to you before. But why? Joe, dear, you haven't been in school lately. And when I didn't see you around, I... I realized what my true feelings for you were. I was so lonely. I can't pretend mm. anymore. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. No, that's okay. Oh, really? Ah. Joe? Huh? You know, they're not here today. My family, they're out. You seem different somehow. Yes, I am different. Oh. Hey, hey, wait a minute! What's that smell? Uh, let me go! <laughs> You're not you, go! Joe, the lights. Leave them off. What in the world happened? Tell me, Joe. Oh, please. No. You'd never believe me. I would. I didn't mean to frighten you. Oh. Remember when I was young and you took me to the carnival? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Let you go! Well, I've been thinking about it a lot these past few days. It's all right. I want to go back. Okay, when? Right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised that you can believe such a bizarre story.
nothing about you would surprise me. I'm glad I told you. But you see... I think I have killed someone. I'm afraid that I may be going completely crazy. And it really hurts me, just thinking about it. I know I'll never be a brave man. I am such a coward. Joe, my darling brother, you have been very confused by everything that has happened lately. And you did absolutely everything you could do. I know you are not a coward. <sighs> you need to understand that you cannot run away from your problems. You have to face them. You have to conquer them. You first must learn that you need to protect yourself before you can protect any other. Dear Joe, listen to my words. Bravery is the power that comes from protecting others. Ah, uh, Michiko. Ah, uh, Joe, remember this. The power of love will always support you and give you strength. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I've always been able to understand you. And I always will. Don't worry. I'll always be here for you. Thanks. Now, Joe, do you think it's possible that Genma could have been using Junko? <gasps> of course. I know. It certainly makes sense. It's amazing how quickly you've put this all together. You're pretty perceptive. Maybe I have a kind of power, too. Different from yours. As long as you're loving and brave, anyone can be psionic. <laughs> yeah. Let's fly as far as we can. Ah! Ah! Let's go! Come on! Beautiful. Joe, this power isn't just for your own sake. It's meant to protect our fragile Earth. I strongly agree with you, Michiko. Thank you so much, Joe. I will never forget this night as long as I live. Tonight was totally wonderful and precious to me. I will always remember it.
It's very easy to grab stuff with all this confusion. Yeah, we can take whatever we want. Yo, guys, look, man. If I give this nice jewel to my girl Sugar, she'll give me whatever I ask for. Ha, 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 ha. Stop it. The boss. Oh. You guys are crazy. Huh? A cheap hooker with real gems would lead them straight uh, to us. Yeah. We're leaving. Huh? Something doesn't uh -huh. feel right today. Get the stuff. I can't carry anymore. What about this? Don't forget that over there. What about this? Hey, what about that? Oh, man. Sonny. Run, Sonny. Who's there? Shoot to kill. Those little punks won't get away with it this time. Make sure you get all of them. Princess, why don't you contact him telepathically? I... Is it because you've just found out he's black? Uh... Or because he's a gang member? Oh... Hey, God, please! You can't keep me in here! You are trapped now. For your information, that cell is inside a special energy globe, you little street punk. Huh? What are you saying? Huh? Ow! Get me out! Now! There's no way out, pal. Stop struggling! O'Reilly! You're not really God O'Reilly, are you? Tell me! Tell me who you are! So you noticed. You're a very smart little boy. I'm not God O'Reilly. I'm just borrowing his body. What? I'll tell you who I am. I am Zomedy. What the heck are you doing? You are going to be baked for a little extra hunt, buddy. Stop babbling so much and let me out now! Scream all you want. Oh, yeah. Ow! The magnetic field Ow! absorbs sound energy. Ow! 
And so the more you scream, the more it will grow. Curse you! Your hate gives it so much energy. Look! Shut up and let me out! It especially loves all the sounds of chaos and destruction. Watch this! Me. Huh? Your name is Luna? Mm. Kenma? What about him? It's a telepathic message from Luna. Huh? There's trouble in New York, and Luna needs all the help that she can get. Can you sense anything about the globe? No. I can't tell whether it's vaporous or living. I only know Sonny's trapped inside. There's only one reason to hold him captive. Yes, it's Genma. Or one of his servants. But where? They have no shape of their own. But they possess people and objects and steal their form. Can you talk to Sunny? Huh? What are you doing? I must finish a fight I started some four million light years away. I may not see you again. No, wait! I'll fight with you! No. You must fight your own prejudice first. Oh, it's 
It's you again. You're safe. Why don't you phase through? I can't do it. There's something that is blocking me. What is it? I don't know. There's some freak named Zamity. He turns into this fireball. Zamity? He's vulnerable while he has a physical form. The field has grown too strong. I can't reach him anymore. Try to protect Sunny. to show himself. You know who I am. You must be Genma's slave, Zamedy. <laughs> Indeed. its weakness. It has something like an eye. It moves around to protect it. Look for the hole. I see. Now I'll go on ahead and destroy it, psychokinetically! No, wait! The princess is unprotected! Sonny, you're the only one who can save her! Who, me? Teleport us away from here! Oh no, forget it, not me! I'm not messing with that thing again! Sonny! Ah! What can I do? I can't. I I can't. I I never expected anything like this. You're no Sunny Lynx. Huh? Please let me introduce myself to you. I am Yogan. I have followed the telepathic signal all the way from my country, India. You better listen to me carefully. If you run now, you'll be running for the rest of your life, little boy. Uh-huh. When a warrior loses his pride, he might as well be dead. Hmm? Uh. 
You're a good kid. Ah. Transportation. Set the PK barrier. And now a subspace oscillation field. We sent him to another dimension. Then he's gone from our world? Yes, of course. Yeah! <sighs> Are you hurt? Oh no, I'm fine. It's too soon to relax. Before the globe was banished, the demon had already escaped. It's still on this planet. Over there. Can you read his thoughts? I'm afraid they've grown too weak now. I'll go on and join Zambi in Japan. We'll take a hostage. And have revenge. What's wrong? My sister! Azuma, how can you be in here? Didn't you hear the evacuation order? Yes. The city has been completely evacuated. Please hurry. You have to get out of here. Well, uh... uh... Please tell me, is there something wrong? Well, I'm here because I'm waiting for my brother. Your brother? Yes. Do you expect him to be home anytime soon? I hope so. I see.
Well then, I'll get out of the way with you! Just a few seconds too late.
He wants to take revenge now, while he is filled with hatred. Makes sense to me. He can't. Using the power in hatred will only lead to destruction. Exactly. You just flew 10,000 miles from New York. Your power is stretched to its limit. Don't overexert yourself. <laughs> All of you leave me alone! Don't go. If you must have revenge, we can't help you. Joe! Kinesis barrier. <sighs> Rats. They were right. It's no use. My power's gone. I can't find anything wrong with him. He should wake up soon. It's all thanks to you. Thank you. Don't thank me. He should be happy to have such fine friends. <laughs> The capital's in ruins. It seems the wind is blowing a little. 
It's quiet now, but things still seem wrong. Oh, Doctor, I think I heard something. Did you hear it too? An earthquake. And I believe it will be a huge one. Uh -huh. <gasps> it can't be. You are... precognitive? I had a vision of you, so I came after you. What's your name? Tao. I heard Luna's telepathic message. Ah, uh, I see. Look over there. Why are all the buildings tilting exactly the same way, huh, Joe? I'm sure that was the epicenter of the quake. So if Genma did all this, he would have to be over there now, huh? Is there a very big mountain that way? Huh? Hmm. Yes! Is this another of your visions? Yeah, Joe. That way. Good. Let's go then! Ah! Wait up! Where are you going? Mount Fuji! Genma's in the volcano! No, Joe! Don't, Joe! Ha -ha! Joe! Ah! Uh -huh. Not again. My power's gone. No! 
Receive a fawn when I can't even help myself. Michiko, it's all over now. some water? I was wrong. I'm not alone. The animals, Luna and the others, they've been a part of me since before I was born. All life is tied together in the web of Mother Earth. That's what Michiko was trying to tell me. Remember this. Love will always support you. Hate and bitterness won't protect the Earth from Genma. It's friendship and unity that bind us together. I've been waiting for you, Joe. Shiro! You look exhausted. What's the matter, Joe? You see, I am the one who rescued you from the sandstorm. Are you aware of that? Oh, but why? The doctor I took you to told me it would be a real shame if you lost all your psychokinesis powers. The doctor? Hmm. Great. Want some, Joe? <sighs> but I just can't give it away. What do you want? I want you to join me. You what? Your special power must serve Genma's will to now on, my friend. You're Zamity! <laughs> so, now you will do exactly as I say. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> struggling don't you value your life even if I die I'll never surrender to you Joe! 
Use your power. He's awake. <gasps> Who are you? Hasanchi. He heard Luna's message. We're so close to the volcano. But look at us, we're not sweating. Say, aren't you guys hot? <sighs> See, I told you, didn't I? Hmm. I was watching him during the fight. It seems he cannot control it yet. He's just starting out, you know. He uses the power in huge bursts, then it cuts off on him. Ah. <sighs> So that's it. Joe, you can use psychokinesis to adjust your body temperature. Huh? Hmm? <gasps> You're right! No sweat! Let's do 
just say that I am the one in charge of completely destroying this planet, and none of you can stop it, even if you try. as I'm in the process of completely consuming a very intelligent race like yours, my friends. And the stronger the spirit is, the more beautiful are the final moments. The end is near for the people of Earth. <laughs> Show me your perfect beauty as you hopelessly struggle against chaos, destruction, and your own death. Oh, what a jerk he is! Tao, come on, get yourself behind me. of lingering emotions. Don't use all your power at once. Lesson two. <laughs> oh, this is nothing at all. Are you sure that that's the best you can do, boys? <laughs> You disappoint me. Let's end this game once and for all. This should make an ideal grave for you. I will now turn you both into stone. You started to harden, I see. When it reaches your heart, you will die. I'd really hope for more fun than this, but I'll be honest with you. Your pathetic expressions are enough thrill for me. They should make very nice monuments. Yes. Farewell, boys.
and they would have been completely solidified. Hey! They kind of look like church statues! How did it happen? An elemental conversion, I think. Use your clairvoyance. Are their hearts okay? Still beating. But not for long. Let's try a psychic wave transformation. Thanks, everyone. Sorry I caused so much trouble. And especially for you, my dearest Luna. It's all right, Joe. I do believe I've been pretty hard on you, too. I am really sorry. Hmm. Young people can actually endure so much pain. But that same pain is often the trigger for your latent powers. Love was exactly the power that I know I felt in my sister's lingering emotions. That's what destroyed the doctor. End of lesson three. But wait, remember how I severed the doctor's wrist? He instantly regenerated. So how could we defeat him so easily? Then. It's him! He's regenerated! Phenomenon. <gasps> we have been waiting for this. That is your true power, Joe. End of lesson four. Class dismissed. Hopefully, this is the final battle. Here he comes.
atomic structure every second. He has the advantage now. Right, let's all pull back. Yes. Circular formation, now! What is that glowing ball? That's... That ball is Vega! No! Huh? Oh. Congratulations. You have destroyed Genma. Oh, but Vega! Even warriors need to rest. This time, my rest will be a long one. Oh, no, no, no! Don't cry for me. Despair inevitably yields the first rays of hope. There's a beautiful saying on your planet. 
The death of a caterpillar leads to the birth of a butterfly. All life follows this cycle. Your ravaged Earth is one of the universe's creatures. It will be reborn. Return to your homes. When the warriors return, life begins again. Is leading us beyond our space and 